What is up guys, my name is Jack O'Brien and welcome back to Interest Things. Silicone-based life has been speculated to be a possibility for quite some time now. A major issue aside from no silicone life being found yet is that silicone is much less abundant than carbon, silicone's cousin in a way. Both silicone and carbon are in group 14 of the periodic table, which is pretty significant because it leaves these elements with four missing electrons. These missing electrons, in a sense, are what allows carbon or silicone to bond with up to four other elements. Yes, these elements are not technically missing electrons, but in order to reach the noble gas state of eight valence electrons, they will need to gain these four more electrons. And of the elements, carbon is the core for building molecules that are then used to build living things. So you and me and the plants and everything else that's alive is all mainly carbon-based life. Silicone life might be able to exist, however, it might have to be created. What do I mean by this? Well, let's think about the definition of life. Life is something that distinguishes plants and animals from inorganic matter. But what distinguishes them from this inorganic matter? Well, they have the ability to grow, reproduce, and have functional activity. So basically, when something is alive, it is active in some way. To be alive, something doesn't even have to be deemed intelligent. But then, would being intelligent deem something living? Yes, I'm talking about artificial intelligence and the technology that we as humans are and will be creating. All of our computers use silicon instead of carbon as the building blocks for these computers' brains. So in a way, our current technology could be looked at as a form of silicone life, but in reality, this is just a very primitive form of what silicone life could be. AI is on the cusp of a revolution, and soon we will be at a point where AI is not only able to process information, but it is also able to move around. Whether or not this would be considered living or not is still up for debate. But the reality is that in the near future, silicone-based AI won't just be all around us, but it will also be inside of us. As the medical and tech industries cross paths more, nanotechnology, microelectronics, and transitional neuromedicine are all going to become more prevalent in the coming future. One thing that is especially exciting about the tech and medical industries coming together is that instead of taking a look at computers, how they work, and how we can improve them, we will instead be taking a look at our own biology and how we work in a way that is like a computer and how we are able to enhance and improve the ways that our own body functions. While much skepticism still exists, it is very likely that in the near future, humans and artificial intelligence might have a much more intimate relationship. And no, I don't mean like intimate relationship like the AI have with the humans in Overwatch. I just mean intimate as technology might be inside of us. The main thing that many tech leaders such as Elon Musk and Brian Johnson have predicted is that as AI developments continue to advance along with medical advances, we will eventually reach a point where we are able to integrate AI with our own human biology in a way that the AI technology would be able to work symbiotically with the human body. Elon Musk calls this a neural lace, which is essentially an AI enhancement to the brain. This would not require surgery, as nanotechnology would allow for electronics to enter the body orally and then reach the brain through the bloodstream. This AI augmentation to our human biology would allow a whole new world of opportunities to emerge. Some of the potential results of incorporating AI technology with our own brains include things such as the ability for us to download new information straight into our brains, as well as the ability to administer neuromedicine to the brain and even communicate with each other and other electronics in a way that almost seems telepathic. While this technology is at the beginning of its journey, it is exciting to see the rapid advancements of AI 
made by the tech industry, as well as the medical field's rapidly advancing knowledge of the brain and how it works. Silicon life might not exist on its own, but it appears that it could be created as well as integrated with our own carbon-based bodies. What do you guys think? Do you think that silicone-based life could naturally exist on other planets? Do you think that once man-made AI reaches a certain point of intelligence that it might be considered silicone-based life? And what do you think about Elon Musk's idea of a neural lace and the incorporation of AI within our own bodies? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and bell me. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.